What's going on, savages? Today, I'm gonna show you one of my favorite on-the-go workout routines. All you need is two kettlebells and 15 minutes to get a calorie torsion workout in a short amount of time, all right? Although I want you to push yourself and work hard, I still want you to maintain quality reps. So make sure you pick a couple kettlebells that you can sustain for the full time. If you have a big arsenal of kettlebells and you can go up and down in weight, then feel free to start heavy and then work your way down if you need to. But either way, let's push the pace. Also, I included some mobility and decompression. If all you have is 15 minutes, feel free to knock out the workout by itself, but I highly recommend knocking out your mobility and decompressing after the workout. All right, it'll help you feel a whole lot better. All right, so we'll kick it off with our mobility first. All right, so for our mobility, we're gonna kick it off with our lateral reaches. We'll go one arm up, one down. I want you to reach over and under in opposite directions. Really try to extend those arms. We'll alternate sides, try to stretch that whole side. Try to create as much distance as you can from your fingertips to your opposite fingertips. We'll go 10 each side. I like to inhale, exhale. Breathe in the center, exhale, reach apart, stretch that whole lateral line. We're going 10 reps each side. Yeah, you feel good. You can try to extend both arms. One goes over, one goes under. Good, now we're gonna go overhead arm circles. Get into those shoulders a little bit, all right? Stand knees soft, reach your arms overhead. Try to lock those elbows out, try to keep the ribs down. We'll draw 10 circles in one direction. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. We'll switch directions. Two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we'll go lateral spine glide. On this one, I want you to imagine like you're moving your upper body over your lower body, right? Gliding your ribs over your pelvis. We'll go as far to one side as we can and then we'll switch sides. We'll go ten each direction. Three, four. Ooh, we got some pops in there. Try to keep your base strong. Try not to wobble your legs all over the place. Ten. Now we'll go big hip circles. I want you to imagine like you're standing inside a barrel and you're trying to touch your hips to every edge of the inside of that barrel. I'll go out to the side, hips back, other side, out to the, the front. Forward, side, we'll go 10 each direction. Oh, yeah. Big circles with that pelvis. Switch directions. I also like to think like I'm at the end of my peanut butter jar and I'm trying to scrape out all the leftovers of that peanut butter with my finger, right? You're the finger, you're trying to scrape out all that peanut butter. Come on, get in there. Big circles. And nice. Now we'll finish it out with our Tai Chi lunge twist. On this one, we'll go wide base. I want you to keep a nice tall chest, core tight. Sit into one hip, bend that knee, let that ankle stretch, turn the shoulders, twist and switch, staying nice and low. We'll go 10 each direction. Just 
slow and steady. Three, four, four, five, five, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine. Got to stay low. Nine, ten, and ten. All right, I hope you're feeling juicy and ready to rock and roll. All right, we're gonna kick it off with our kettlebell work next. Here we go. All right, it's time to get to work. You got our double kettlebells. You got four movements, back to back, as many rounds as you can. Set the clock to 15 minutes. All right, I want five reps of your double deadlift to clean. After that, you got squat, pause, Push press, five reps there. Then you got 10 outside the leg swings and then 10 push up to one arm row. All right, so you, in that plank position, you go push up, row, and then hit another push up before switching sides. All right, here we go. I'm gonna show you what it's all about. Here we go. Double deadlift, proud chest, back to the floor, clean, down, deadlift, clean. Spiral the bells around your wrist. We're going five reps. Three, four, four, three. Good. Now we'll keep them in the rack. We're gonna go five squat to push press. So hit that squat, nice and steady. Pause. Now I'm gonna dip and push. One, squat, nice and slow. Dip, push. Two, so I'm separating the two movements. Squat and then push press. Let's go three more reps. Three. Four. Five. Woo! Now I got 10 outside the leg swings. I'll bring my feet into a narrow stance. Bell's in front of me to start. Nice, proud chest. I'm going 10 reps here. Woo! Solid, really try to throw those bells as far forward as you can. Light up those hamstrings, use those glutes, keep that spine nice and straight. Now. I'm gonna go push up to one arm row, 10 push ups, five rows each arm. Here we go. I like to point the bells up at an angle like an A frame so I can keep my elbows out of the 45. Stabilize those hips. Row, push up. Row. Three, four. Five, six, seven, come on. Eight, nine, one more. Woo, that's one round. All right, I'm gonna keep that going for a full 15 minutes. All right, once you're done, you should be feeling pretty damn good. All right, you got five double deadlift to clean. After that, keep them in the rack. You got a quality slow squat. Pause, push press. Those two back to back, five reps together. After that, 10 outside the leg swings, and then 10 push up to row. That's 10 push ups, five rows each arm. All right, as many rounds as you can with good reps in 15 minutes. All right, let's get it in. All right, I hope you enjoyed that 15 minute double kettlebell burner. Now, like I said, if you have time, please try to squeeze in this cool down. All right, we'll go through it together. We're gonna go down on our knees. Reach your hands out in front of you. From here, hit your butt back towards your heels. I want you to inhale, open your palms out, exhale, rotate through the shoulders, all right? Don't just turn your hands out and in. Really try to mobilize all the way down into those shoulders and out. Breathe through that tension. 
I don't know about you, but those push presses really got my shoulders feeling burnt up. Let's make sure we shake out that tension in the shoulders. Breathe. Good. Now, we're going to go alternating arm thread. From here, I'm going to go one elbow up and back. Pull. Inhale. Exhale. Reach through. Pump up. Stack your shoulders. I'm reaching through, but I'm pulling my hips back. Inhale. Pull. Exhale. Reach through. Stack. Pull those hips back. Try to keep them square. Inhale, pull. Exhale, reach through, twisting. Keeping the hips back. Big deep breaths. Inhale. Exhale, twist. Inhale, switch. Exhale, twist through, pull those hips away, reach through. Let's go one more. Last one. Oh, yeah. Woo. Now I'm gonna lie face down. We're gonna go alternating floor scorpion on this one. Arms out to your side. I'm gonna bend one leg, step right over my opposite knee, pull my knee back, reach forward, and switch sides. Step, inhale, exhale, reach, and switch. Inhale, exhale, switch. Take your time. Breathe through that tension. Pull that knee back, reach forward, last one. Step over that opposite knee, plant the foot, pull the knee back, reach, 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 reach away. And now you are finished. Way to get it in guys. I hope you feel better after that cool down. All right, you're definitely gonna be feeling it tomorrow. I'll see you guys next time.